Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Out of Sight. This game was released on Steam on March 10th, 2021. Its regular price is $5.99 US or your regional equivalent, and it's developed and published by Ninja Duck Games. Very good name. So this is a, uh, a hidden object game in small, cute little maps like this. You basically are given things to find down at the bottom, you find them in the level, and listen to chill lo-fi soundtrack, which sounds amazing, just to listen to this main menu. And it's also just had a, a screensaver mode, where you can um, just just have like a picture on and be able to listen to the soundtrack, which is really cool. Um, that just came out last week. So I, I love these kinds of games. Um, I played a game called Hidden Through Time last year, um, streamed all of that, and it was really, really good. So I, I quite enjoy these kinds of games. Let's check it out. Out of sight. Okay, and we can do uh, basically everything with the mouse, which is fantastic. So we've got to find a bomb. We've got to find a cup. We've got to find this potion. Can we open things? No. I'm already struggling. <laughs> is that? No, that's just a bottle. I think you can also move with like WSD. That's pretty good. Wow, well, you can go really in depth on here. Or like really zoom in. I like that. Oh, that was blended in very well. Does that, does that not count? I mean, that looks, oh, is it slightly different? No, that, that counts. I've got it. Uh, now we just need a bottle and a cup. Oh, I found the bottle in the boat. Bottle. Try using a hint to find the last one. Okay. Look on an object in the object bar. Ah. Well, I, that's the first thing I guessed was click on the treasure chest. Oh, okay, so if you like scroll over something and it lights up purple, you can interact with it. I get it. So it's just a tutorial. I understand. I'm ready. Baby steps. Show me a new out of sight level. Oh, look how cute it is. Jeez, it's so cute. Uh, okay. A broom. A rat. A, a bag. A book. And some seeds. We like zoo how how do we get in here? Oh I found the seeds, they're in the back of this very cute little truck. Got him. Oh, and the bag. Bam. Oh, it looks so good. I, I love love the aesthetic of this. Uh those are not things. You think like a book might be hanging around there somewhere. Or right there, perhaps. I just gotta find a mouse and a broom. Oh, a broom. Got it. Now where might a mouse be hanging out? He's hanging out in the back somewhere. I don't see anything about like a uh, limited number of hints or anything. Should we try getting a hint on the mouse? He's in this area. Okay, so I think you're just allowed to use hints. That's that's cool. I like that. Oh, there he is. He, he's very cute. Got him. We did it. Did you get a bonus for doing it in time or something, maybe? Next level. Show me some more. Oh, a lovely farm, and there's a lot of items here. Like that horse. Can't do anything to that horse. Luckily. I uh, feel like there might be some... I mean, there's a lot of pumpkins here. But we're looking for that pumpkin. He's done it. And this rabbit... He's also done it. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, hello. Hello. Surprise. No bonus for that or anything, fine. I did find it though. Just let the record state. This one's, this one's a little bit trickier. Nothing's as like really jumping out to me right now. Apart from that horse, who's not a real thing. Well, I mean, he's a real horse. Well, he's a, a video game horse. But horses are real things. I I just accidentally clicked that. But I'll take it. There's a dog. Is the dog in his house? He's not. Oh, we can open this barn. Hell yeah. We found a generator. And this... Oh, it's a battery. Got it. Nothing else in there? I don't think so. You can really fly all over this place. <laughs> Love it. 
feel like some of these tools are probably going to be quite obvious and I've already missed them. <laughs> nothing, nothing there? No. Oh, I think I see something sticking out over here. Yes. It's very hard to see. We got the, the fork prongy thing. What on earth those called? Big forks, I think. Gar garden forks. Farm forks. Forks. It's, it's, it's one of those. Dog! Got him. Gotta find gas as well. Gas a bird. I mean, the bird's probably gonna be quite high up. Like there. Um. Oh no, we just need a hammer. And some petroleum. Gasoline. Oh! I was just about to give up, actually, and then just where I stopped, there happened to be the, the gasoline. Well, and now I can't give up, because I just need a hammer. <laughs> Don't know where this hammer could be. Hammer! Did it! No giving up here. Was that good? No. No time bonus on that one, apparently. <laughs> oh, a nighttime farm. Well, this one's going to be way harder. That's not the tract we're looking for. But there was a cat there. So that's, uh, excellent. We gotta find a little tractor. Found the, the mailbox thing. I mean, I'm assuming it's a big tractor unless it's hidden in here. It was hidden in there. Uh, okay, a melon, a farm fork, and a tire. When I say melon, I do mean watermelon. Like that one. I just need a farm fork and a tire. Probably afford to zoom in a little bit. Farm fork and tire. It's very dark back here. I imagine that's the kind of the purpose of this level. Oh, tire! It was disguised as a bush. I understand. Has an apocalypse happened or something? There's like no people around. Well, there's animals, I guess. The animals seem fine. But like that, that for sale thing. Looks like a little bit abandoned, you know? The level of detail in all the little like cluttered areas is very, very good. Oh, this porta, this outhouse thing opens to reveal a farm fork. Done it, look at that bonus. Good, good bonus. Oh, okay. I like this, nice simple one. But they're gonna be like really disguised, I guess. This is a good speedrun map. Um, I mean, you wouldn't think a big bear could be that well disguised, but he really was. <laughs> and the rest are probably in here. Bam. See, that would be a good, good speed bonus one. <laughs> I like that one, that was cute. That was a nice little map. Oh, well, this one's nice too. There's a wolf up there, or something. Okay, the axe is there. Need to find a deer and a... I, I don't know what that is, that might be a hoe. <laughs> it's probably not a hoe if this is like a camping scene. But like really, you never know. And again, you wouldn't expect a deer to be like disguised as well as it is. Uh, but he's, he's like blended in pretty well. What was it? I see it. Oh, it's just a shovel. I was, like, not far off with a hoe. Okay, little deer. Little deer, jeez, he is super hidden. Has he, like, buried himself? Like, Jesus Christ. I feel like he's in here somewhere. Just can't spot him. I guess I could zoom. <laughs> there he is, holy crap, he was really well hidden in there. Jeez. Good map. Good little map, that one. Like it. Uh, let's go back to the, the main menu. Holy crap. And see, um... There we go, level select. How many do we have? Well, it's not gonna tell us, okay. Well, I would like to know how many levels there are. I will have a look on Steam. Holy crap, I just saw in the, the features list where it's got randomized object locations for each playthrough. So, <laughs> so some of these... The, the, the objects have just been randomized. That's really quite amazing, actually. Okay, it's got 20 levels. So I, I think I've done, like, five or, or six or something. 
Uh, so let's just do this one. One more. Oh, see something over here. Is that a thing? It was a garbage bag. This is quite a large one, actually. Jeez. It's a first aid kit. There are many things to look at. Many things to find. Can't believe it randomizes the object locations. That's amazing. And it doesn't randomize them to really dumb places. Maybe, maybe it only has like a, a selection of like places it can put objects. So it's not going to say like, here, put the bicycle right in the middle of the river. <laughs> that would that seems smart to me. As someone who's made a level for the game hidden through time, I understand a thing or two about hiding objects. You know, <sighs> pretty good at it. I say as I've only found the first two objects in this level and nothing else. I've, I've been around this map like three times now and I've still only found those first two. I don't know what I'm missing. That bag, got it. Very well hidden. I think part of what makes it um quite difficult to find things, uh, not like in a bad way or anything, is is the, the, the fixed camera. Like you can't like change the angle of the camera. Uh, you can only like zoom in or out and you can like move it around, but you can't like like tilt up um, so you could like look a bit lower kind of thing. Is that a thing? As a thing. Uh, so like a lot of times like the trees kind of obscure your view. Oh that is a well hidden bicycle. It says I need a mushroom but I guess these don't count? No I just need like one mushroom on its own. Okay. Oh there's the rabbit. Holy crap. <laughs> That's the rabbit. <laughs> you have to zoom in quite quite close for some of these items actually. I think it's got a pretty decent playtime then, probably. Um, like some of those early ones were very quick, but uh, this one especially is taking a while. And I might not even finish it. Well, you know what, I will if I do hints. It's, oh, that's over there. I didn't even see it. This is a tin, oh there it is. Or is that the mushroom? That's the mushroom. And the tin should be around here as well. Why the garbage can? I've, like, I've, I've been here a lot. Oh, there's the tin. Holy crap. What a decent little hiding spot. Got it? Okay, we're looking for this... Uh, I don't know what it is, actually. But I'll find it. I think it's just on this rock. Good god. <laughs> These, some of them. Some of them are very difficult. Bear trap. I, I don't even see where that's pointing me to. Is it here? There it is. <laughs> Goodness me, some of these would be quite hard without hints. Can't even click on it from out here. And the water bottle. Oh, there it is. That one's quite easy, actually. Oh, that's only because the rocks had disappeared up here. Ha! Ah, water bottle, got. Probably not a good score bonus on that one. No. <laughs> Did not get it. We'll have a quick look at the, the next one, the next level. Oh, that's a nice, cute little one. I like that. Uh, let's just pop it on. Oh, excellent. We do have a leaderboard. Excellent. And Orwando, hell yeah. Uh, just put it on screensaver as I do my outro. <laughs> there you go, that was a look at the game Out of Sight. It was very cute. Uh, it was pretty pretty cheap, honestly. It's like, I think it was like five, five, six US, something like that. Really great soundtrack, really beautiful looking locations, and I guess replayability if the, the objects really are randomized. That is, is very neat. That was a lot of fun. I really like these games. Thank you guys very much for watching, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!